Welcome back to the Bookends YouTube channel. So to kick off 2020 right, we're giving more query advice. So this time always. we're going to... Always. Yeah, it's kind of our job. <laughs> so this time we're going to talk about the anatomy of a query. What makes the perfect query letter? Yeah. What does it look like? How is it structured? What's in it? Yeah, make it easy. Because, yeah. you know, a query letter is really sort of a formal business letter. Yeah. So we're going to give you a little checklist. Yes. Yes. So starting it off with an intro paragraph. Well, let's start with the dear agent part. Oh, okay. We would recommend dear first name, last name. Yes, not dear sirs. <laughs> yeah, I would avoid any gender yeah. um, qualifications unless you know for sure. You know, if the yeah. agent has in their bio she, her, he, him, go ahead Smart. and then you can assume. But if they don't, I wouldn't assume. I think you're better off first name and last name. Honestly, most agents are pretty informal. I think you could even be safe going first name, but that's up to you yeah, and your comfort level. Just spell it right. Right. And use the right name. Yeah. I've Although gotten a lot of Johns. With query, um, the query manager, I find it's a little better, but no. Yeah. Well, I think that if you're messing it up in query manager, I'm also, it's like, it's right there. Right there. <laughs> at the top of the form. I'm not Right John. there. It's even big. Right. I'm not John. <laughs> um, anyway, yes. So. so that's where you start. And then from there, right to business. So we start off with an intro paragraph. And that intro paragraph should um, not be nine paragraphs. <laughs> like, no, it should be short. Short. You know, if you have a personal connection, we w I watch your YouTube. Yeah, why I'm you querying. know, or I hear you're looking for this. That's fine. If you don't, that's, that's fine. fine. I don't think you need to go to all this effort to have a fake personal connection. Yeah. If you really just grabbed the name off a list and figured I heard this person's doing mystery, so I'm gonna send it. So I think the intro. Got to do it sometimes. <laughs> right. I mean, I think the intro paragraph could just be. You know, dear Jessica Faust, I've written a, and then what you need is word count. Yep. Title. Title. Genre. Yes. Don't skip those three things. You can put them anywhere. I don't think they always need to be in the intro paragraph. I just think it simplifies things to make the intro paragraph. Everybody knows exactly what it is. Yeah. I think you're, you're letting us know exactly what we're getting into and we're reading on. So yeah. I, I think it's probably best that it's in that first paragraph, though some people do put it at the end. That's fine, but too. But imagine it like shopping at the bookstore. Right. The first thing you do is find the genre that you're looking to buy yeah. in. You find that, you go to that section. See the cover? Well, you see the cover or you see the spine. And is it this big or is it this big? Right. That's my word count. That gives me an idea oh, how true. long yeah. the book is. And that matters. Like, yeah, we all, does. that, like, you know, that matters. And then the title. Yeah. And then we get specifics about the genre, which, you know, is yeah. it historical? That was a good way to look or, at it. You know, whatever. So that is your intro paragraph, which is the way we're shopping for your book. Yeah. Um, if you have them, we have plenty of videos on comp titles, so take a look at them. If you have them, they can go in your, in your intro paragraph. Yes, yeah, so you could use them as part of your description, you know. Yeah. I've written a 80,000 word historical fiction, which is, you know, I don't know. The alienist meets the Alice network. Yeah. Something like that. That's, you know, that shows, gives an impression of the book. I don't think you need a tagline in that first paragraph. No. I think, like I said, when shopping at the bookstore, I think it's the genre, word count, title that matter most right there. Yeah, and then, I think once you get that out of the way, it's all creative. It's your yeah. next one to three paragraphs of the book. The so blurb. You, yeah. Which is the most important part of your whole query. It's what you get when you look at the back of a book or the flap of a book. Right. That's what your query blurb should be. So I'm in the bookstore. I get an idea of the length. I know the genre. I see the title. Next thing I do is I read the blurb on the back cover. That's what your query blurb is. It's your future back cover copy. I mean, I don't, I think that your blurb is one to three paragraphs. Yeah. Absolutely no more than that. It is not a synopsis. It does not tell you how the book ends. It tells you the key parts of the book that make it stand out from every other book in that genre's bookshelf. Yeah. What makes me buy this book versus the 20 other thrillers in that thriller section? Yeah. And that's what that blurb is. If you want ideas, go to that section of the bookstore and read the back cover copy. Write the back cover copy for those books you've already written to get a sense for yeah. the rhythm and the feel of it. 
I'm not going to lie. I've written queries by pulling up comp titles when I'm pitching to editors. Following the same formula. Following the same formula for a comp title that I yeah. feel really fits this book. Yeah. You can do that too. There's no reason you shouldn't. Yeah. I mean, it's all about marketing your book. And if that's a successful way to do it, go for it. And to be honest, we're going to skim that first paragraph to get a sense of is the word count in range? Is the genre something I do? And we're going straight to the blurb. Especially in Query Manager. This isn't a reason to not include it. But in Query Manager, our whole top of the page is is that information that you're inputting. Yeah. Um, but not everybody uses Query Manager. But you're putting your title, name, word count, genre. I know it before I open the query. Right. Yeah. So, But it's still it's not a reason to not include it. You should still have it all figured out and written down for other agents not using Query Manager. Um, yep. And but, then your last paragraph is your bio. Yes. Um, so your bio does not have to be your entire life story. And it doesn't have to be fancy. <laughs> no, it could just simply be who you are, where you're from, your writing credits, and if, if you what you do for a living, if it's any relation, if you want to share that. And if you don't have any writing credits, that's fine too. Yeah. If you're a member of a writing organization, include that. Yeah. Um, I don't think you need to include if this is your first book or your fifth book. You don't have to include how long it took you. <laughs> but if you are previously published, whether it's self-published or traditionally published, you need to include that. Yes. You will find it when we Google you because we will Google you if we're that interested. Yes. And it's important to just put it out there. But it also shows... Transparency. It, you know, it sh no matter how you've been published, whether it's trade magazines or self-published or traditional published, it shows me that... You've been doing this for a while. Oh, yeah, experience. You're learning. Yeah. And, you know, this might be something that's that next step. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely include that in your bio. If you have a personal connection to the book, you know, oh, if yeah. you're a lawyer writing a legal thriller, if, you know, I don't even know what else. But if you have a personal connection to the book that makes it that much more interesting, definitely include that as well. Yeah, of course. And, and that's it. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. <laughs> I mean, easier said than done, but it's that's a quick, basic checklist for a concise and powerful query. Yeah, and keep those paragraphs to those paragraph limits we've talked yeah. about, because I will tell you when I get those overly long queries... Do you have a suggested word count? I don't. One page. One page. Any cover letter for a resume is one page. This is no different. Yeah. No more. Yeah. So good luck. Good we luck. hope that was helpful and we hope to see your queries. Yeah, and subscribe because we're going to do more on queries and other pieces of publishing. Okay.